On contacts tonight, Candy, a guardian angel looking for romance. Kieran, who's into a cult TV series. And Howard, offering a glamorous job. Welcome to a brand new series of Contacts, the personal column of television, where we are giving you the chance to get in touch with other people. Time evacuees. We have a magician who's looking for help and two men who like dressing up at weekends. And hopefully that's just as a hobby. Well, if you want to get in touch with any of the people that you see on tonight's programme, you can write to them care of us. Or if you fancy taking part yourself, maybe, then you can telephone us. And we'll give you the address and our telephone number at the end of the programme. This becomes cult viewing, and the prisoner has got to be the all-time great. It was a psychological thriller starring the one and only Patrick McGuin, set in Port Merion in North Wales, and it was first shown back in 1967. Well, now there's a Prisoner's Appreciation Society, and it's got 3,000 members in this country alone, and Kieran McAleer is one of them. Kieran, we can tell that instantly from your blazer. Right. <laughs> now, it was only 17 episodes long. Why did The Prisoner become such cult viewing? I think because it was so different. Nothing had ever been done like it before. It made, you know, pose questions to the viewer, made people actually think, you know, what was going on, and it made a, a, a social comment on the... on the. Uh... Well, that all sounds pretty deep and heavy. I mean, what does that mean in layman's terms? Well, I mean, it just made the, the viewer actually ask, you know, what's going on? It made you think, you know, it wasn't just a clear-cut ending. Well, it made me ask why they're wearing those silly clothes. <laughs> Well, I'm a moment today. I mean, you know, people must ask you those sort of questions. Do, do you ever feel a bit intimidated, and not intimidated, made fools of because you wear all the garb and everything? No, I think, you know, when we actually do it, it's uh, usually in the setting of the village, so it usually fits in quite well. well what, what do you, well, I mean, we'll come on to what you do there exactly. Explain a little to me about the society. Right, what the society does, we have uh, got about 3,000 members in this country. We've got members all over the world, in fact, right as far as Australia and America. And uh, what we do, we produce quarterly mail-outs every year. Uh, every quarter obviously and uh, we arranged conventions up in Wales and in London and all over where the series was actually shot in the 60s. Now what happened to these conventions? Well we go up uh, usually in August September time to Port Merion in North Wales where they filmed The Prisoner in 66 and we reenact scenes from The Prisoner and um, we have special guests come along from the series and uh, we show episodes. So why are you here today? What can we do for you? Well we're really looking for um, people that actually worked on the series when it was filmed in Bournemouth. Uh, maybe, you know... Well, no, that's the Elstu Studios, you mean? That's right, yeah, yeah they're no longer there. Um, people who didn't just do the main bits, like editors and uh, production, but people who actually worked in the smaller areas, like set design, set building, painters, carpenters, anybody that actually worked extras, for instance. And you want them to come to this convention in September? Why? Well, we know it's, we've covered most of the, uh, the main people that are involved. We'd like to get, you know, some stories from behind the scenes about what went on. What, you're looking for some juicy gossip, are you? We're not gossip exactly, we just want to find out what they thought was going on and did they understand it. Um, How that bubble got so big. <laughs> yeah, it might finally burst. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you, wouldn't Patrick McGowan be far more interesting for uh, your members to hear talk? Or have you tried asking him? Yes, we invite him over to the uh, convention every year, but so far he's declined our invitations. Why has he declined? Um, as he's very, very quiet now. He's went to the States in, in the 60s after the series was filmed and he's... Uh, He's returned only once. I heard he's become a recluse because of the series. That's right, yeah, he uh, spends a lot of time uh, where he lives. He doesn't venture out very much. He's ashamed of it? I think he's ashamed. He's trying to live down the image, and uh, he, the only way to do that is to get away from the uh, okay. environment. OK. Well, good luck up in Port Merion in September. Well, if you worked on the scenes, or behind the scenes, rather, of The Prisoner at Elstree Studios in the mid-60s, then Kieran McAleer is the man to contact. And Patrick, if you should be watching by any chance, he'd like to hear from you as well. And it's all to take part in this year's convention, which takes place at Port Merion in September. If, you, if you're interested in taking part, then write to us at our usual address. <laughs> Kieran wants to find studio people who worked on The Prisoner. Paul would like to get married again. Wilma is launching a club for the over 50s. And Howard needs an elegant assistant. And you can get in touch with any of these people by writing to this address. And it's the same address for the Gravesend evacuees. Address your letters to the person concerned and send it to contacts, PO Box 1177, London Northwest 1, 3BS. That's contacts, PO Box 1177, London Northwest 1, 3BS. 
And if you want to find someone or you want to take part in the programme yourself over the next few weeks, then you can telephone us now on 01 388 1313. That's 01 388 1313. Lines are open for an hour after tonight's programme, and if you can't get through then, you can try us tomorrow between 9 and 6. And you'll find the address and phone number on Oracle page 249, and also, of course, in TV Times. Well, that's over tonight. We'll be back with contacts next Thursday night, but whether Josephine will be with us is another question altogether, because the baby's due at any minute, as you've probably noticed. But it will, I'll be here for sure, so join us at the same time next week. From all of us here, good night. Good night.